Hey everyone. In this video, I want to answer the question of what is the latency of my express route connection? Or rather, why I can't really answer the question. As always, if this is useful, a like, subscribe, comment, and share is appreciated, and hit that bell icon to get notified of new content. So people always ask about, hey, latency of this or that or the other. Now, when I have kind of a site-to-site -site VPN, we always say, well, the latency is unknown. It's going over the internet. The latency may vary. But with Express Route, we have kind of this dedicated private connection. And so we're going to get a consistent latency. But what is that latency? So let's explore the different components so we can try and answer the question and then work out why there's a bit of it that is really down to you and you'll have to work out. So I can think about the Microsoft Backbone Network. Microsoft has this huge, global, highly performant, massive capacity global network. They have their own kind of fiber lines under the oceans. It's one of the biggest networks in the world. Now, attached to those network are many different things. Now, if I'm thinking about Express Route, predominantly, I'm thinking about probably services in Azure. So I think, well, we have different regions. So I could have, let's say, region one. Now remember, a region is made up of multiple data centers. But we really define a region as this two millisecond round trip latency envelope. So straight away, what I'm saying here is there's going to be some variation depending on where exactly the data center whose resource I'm connecting to happens to be within the region. So there, there's some variance there. Now, the way the regions connect to this backbone network is there are these regional network gateways. So there's kind of two of these regional network gateways that connect kind of to that Microsoft backbone network. Now, if I think about Express Route, remember Express Route is all about, hey, my location having a dedicated connection. Now, where do I make that connection? Well, we make that connection at a meet me. So we'll hear the term meet me. Um, we'll also hear the term peering point. So this is some carrier neutral facility where Microsoft have extended their network into. So there are Microsoft Enterprise Edge routers in there. We kind of see the MSEEs. And then we can connect our network to there. Now, there are lots of these peering points, but Microsoft does have a goal. For each of their regions, there is what's considered a local peering point. So that is kind of local to what is considered that region. And where this really shows up is when I think about there are certain local SKUs where we don't pay egress. We can actually use a local SKU. And if we look at the documentation for a second, this kind of shows us the different express route connectivity providers. But notice it's telling you the region over here, the local Azure region down this center column and then the actual location of the meet me. So Amsterdam, well, that's local region is West Europe. So you can kind of go down, you can see, hey, what meet me is local to which particular region. There's a huge number of these. Sometimes a meet me doesn't have a local region. So you'll see not applicable. It's out there. It's available for you to peer to. It gets you onto the Microsoft Backbone Network as quick as possible, but there isn't what is considered a local region to that meet me. But here, for example, let's say South Central is local to the meet me in San Antonio. Now, the reason I'm talking about these kind of local region to the meet me's is when we think about latency, because there's really this goal. If it's the local meet me, to a region, actually I'm going to do that in orange. I think someone told me this trick. I think if you do this and then hit the color, that didn't work at all. All right, someone said you can do that. So let's say it's the local meet me for that region. 
then it's going to be typically within five milliseconds of latency. So I can kind of judge that. So like, okay, so if I am using a meet me that's local to that region, I would expect five milliseconds or less latency to that region. Now realize, obviously, maybe I'm not using the local region. There could be another region kind of over here, region two, which again has its regional network gateways. It again has kind of that connection. So there's going to be kind of a distance between those over the Microsoft Backbone network. Now that's an additional latency. So there's some kind of millisecond latency between what is kind of that local region and the region you are actually going to. Now Microsoft does have kind of a document around this. You can go and look at the Azure network latencies and all these links I've got in the description. So here you can get a rough idea because what this does is it really talks about, well, for each of the Azure regions, what is the latency to another Azure region? So if I was looking from South Central US, so I'll go along this line, and let's say I was going to um, West US. So let's, let's just zoom out for a second. So it's kind of this line over here, so I'm on South Central US. But let's say that was the local meet me, but then I was going to West US. Well, I can see it'll add another 33 milliseconds of latency to that. So I can kind of get an idea of actually what those latencies would be between the various regions. So I can kind of get an idea about that as well. Okay, so we have a pretty good idea so far. Uh, we can kind of see, hey, that should be within five milliseconds if it's local. If it's a different region that's not local to my peering point, I can get a rough idea over the Microsoft Backbone network of the additional latency. Now, this Meet Me itself, there's a cross connect goes on. Because what's going to happen is maybe it's a direct fiber connection. And then what is actually going to happen inside there kind of does this cross connect between your network, your edge routers, and the Microsoft Enterprise Edge routers. Now that does add some latency as well. You might get kind of one to two milliseconds of latency just added in kind of that part right there. So there again is some additional latency. But now here's the part I can't answer. This. You have customer edge routers, you have kind of a provider edge router up here. How long is that connection? So this is typically the part that we struggle with because there, there is no standard answer to that. How far away is your data center from the meet me you are connecting to? Do you have a direct connection? Or maybe you're in this data center over here and you have your own internal network that goes to the data center that has the connection. Well, then there's going to be a latency between where you are and where the data center is that actually has the connection as well. So we can get a pretty good idea of the latency is kind of from the meet me upwards. For the latency for you, hey, you, you're just going to kind of need to measure that. Now that was a direct fiber connection. And there are tools. So if you look at Azure Connection Monitor, Azure Network Connection Monitor will actually give you a map. It deploys agents and it can actually show you a map and tell me the latencies at each step. Now, I'm going to show you a document that's from the Network Performance Monitor. Um, but it has changed, but this is available in Connection Monitor as well. I just couldn't find a good document with a picture in it. But it gives you the same thing in Connection um, Monitor, Connection Manager. But here you can kind of see what you can get. I can actually get this nice view of, okay, my latency from my location to my edge router at the meet me is this. Then the cross connect between my router. Actually, I'm doing it the wrong way around. So that was that, that was the one on the left is the connection to the network to the Microsoft Enterprise Edge, Microsoft Enterprise Edge to your router, and then whatever that latency is between your edge and your provider edge router at the meet me location. So there are actually tools that will help you see that 
and kind of get that information. So that there are ways to monitor that. There are things I can actually do to get that. You could test it yourself. Now, I wouldn't use ICMP. ICMP is generally treated as a lower priority. So it may not give you true values. Uh, the better option would be something like TCP ping, because then it's, it's TCP traffic. It should get treated um, as a kind of good number. So you can actually go and test those things as well. So definitely, yes, there are things I can do through kind of connection monitor to get that map and get those numbers, but you could also do your own kind of perf testing. iPerf is another tool you could use. Now, one thing to bear in mind, I did draw kind of a direct fiber connection. Maybe you don't do that. Maybe you have an MPLS. Now, remember, an MPLS, we always draw as kind of this mystical circle that your things just kind of connect to. And I can obviously onboard to the meet me through that as well. It's not really this mystical thing. Your provider has a bunch of data centers and those data centers have routers and there's connections between their data centers. And at one of those data centers, they would have routers at kind of these meet me's like an Equinix facility where they can kind of map your network. So the reality is, hey, if I'm using an MPLS, well, I have kind of a customer edge router. And then what you also have is kind of this provider edge router. And you have a whole bunch of these. So I buy customer edge router. And then they're basically connecting on their network. And the reality is, that, well, there's a provider edge router here as well. So really, your MPLS is not so much that, your MPLS is really this. That is part of your MPLS network in reality. Oh, didn't mean to do that. No, we'll redraw that then. This is your MPLS. And once again, there are internal networks and connections between the data centers that this kind of hangs off of to enable those connectivities. So there will be latencies on your provider's network between those various points, and they'll publish those. For example, at and I'll kind of look at this, they have a picture very similar to the Azure picture that kind of shows you between their kind of city pairings, the average latency you would expect. So you could work out, okay, well, based on those cities, which one, like they have San Antonio there. So that would be kind of the same as that meet me location on Azure. Well, okay, where is the city I'm connecting to for location? Hey, I could go and work out the latency for my MPLS, for example. So you can absolutely go through and work all of these things out. So it's really just numbers and math. It's going to vary, though. That's kind of the key point. So on the Azure side, hey, region is two milliseconds. The local meet me will be within five milliseconds. Typically, that's the goal. There's going to be some latency introduced actually doing that cross connect. And then really, it's between you and your provider at that point. If it's a direct connection, it's going to be a certain number. If your MPLS, realize what you're really doing here is this is just IP between you and the provider edge routers and your custom edge routers. Then there's kind of the whole point is there's an MPLS tag that enables you to have different customers on the network, kind of like a VLAN, essentially. But they have connections between their data centers. And the Microsoft Meet Me is just another location they have equipment and that's where your MPLS will kind of join it. So you can kind of work out that latency. But again, things like connection monitor will give you that kind of map and let you see that view. You can do your own tests. So I hope that kind of answers the question. They're the components you need to consider. Obviously, the number you get will vary because of this is going to vary. Um, but it should be consistent. This is dedicated kind of connections for you. You shouldn't see some huge variance like you might see on a site site VPN over the internet, which, hey, I'm clashing with other people and maybe different paths are taken. I should at least get a consistent experience. So I hope that answered the question. Uh, I hope that was useful. Until next time, take care.